Hey guys, welcome to my Rococo Smart Gloves review. In this video, I'll be giving a short review of the gloves, touching up on usage, accuracy, price, and durability. For full disclosure, Rococo did send me a pair for testing purposes, making this a sponsored video, but my review will be impartial, and I'll give an honest description of the gloves. Let's get started with the first point, usage. The smart gloves connect to your PC the same way the smart suit does, through a Wi-Fi connection. If you want a detailed description about connecting your smart gloves to your PC, check out the smart suit review on my channel, link in the description, or click the card in the top right. The principles are the same. All in all, the smart gloves only require a few minutes to be set up for the first time, afterwards you just put them on, plug them in, and you're ready to go. For guides on using them in conjunction with your smart suit, refer to the official documentation and video tutorials. This brings us to one thing you should know about the gloves. You need to connect them, like the smart suit, to an external power bank which has at least one USB-A output. You can use two smaller power banks, one for each glove, or one larger one with two USB-A outputs for both gloves. I personally use the latter option. You can find the required specifications for the power banks on Rococo's website. Now let's talk about accuracy and how the gloves work. Each glove has seven sensors. One for each finger, one for the top of your hand, and one for your wrist. The finger sensors are located on the second digit of each finger. The gloves record the movement of these sensors and from that data, they calculate what position the first and the third digits are in. I found the gloves to be very accurate, though small discrepancies do come from the way they are built. These discrepancies are very situational and they only come into play when the last digit of your finger is forced by some object into a different position than what it would naturally be in. Like how I'm pushing my finger against the wall here. The huge benefit of the gloves is that they don't rely on magnetic sensors, meaning that you can grab metal objects without messing up your recordings. Now let's talk about durability. The smart gloves are built to the same standard as the smart suit itself, meaning that they can handle falls, punches and other stunts with ease. As long as you have the necessary padding so that you don't hurt yourself, the smart gloves should be able to keep up with your performance. Now let's talk about price. Right now, the smart gloves are up for pre-order from today, the 16th of September through the 21st of October. During this period, the gloves are discounted, going for $8.95 US dollars. After this period is over, they will be available for $9.95 US dollars. Gloves ordered in this period will start shipping in November. If you order afterwards, you might need to wait until early next year to receive your pair. In my opinion, the smart gloves are really great and I can wholeheartedly recommend them to anyone looking to get in on hand and finger motion capture. Price-wise, I think they are fairly priced and very worth it, especially given their performance and durability. Thank you for watching this review. I hope you found it useful and I'll see you in my next video. Lorcher out.